What's good, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube? It's your boy, Crown Z. Uh-oh. Welcome to Crown Z's place. Hold on. Speech off. Anyway, today's um, Tea Time Sunday. Welcome to Tea Time. I think it's the 10th episode of Tea Time Sundays? I believe so. Okay. All right. Well, for Tea Time Sunday episode 10, today we were talking about in Sunday school being called to know God. We are called to know God. Um, when we're called to know God, um, a lot of times people wonder how how are people saved and why are they saved and what is our purpose in life and all of this stuff. The main thing that we're um, our purpose is for, and I'm having issues because I'm using a back facing camera, hoping that everything works out. But let me see. I'm just gonna put you. No. That's just not going to work. Okay, I'm just holding you like this. Um, one of the things that we are called to do or called out of the world um, to do for the Lord is not just serve him, but recognize that he is the Lord. He is our father. He is our friend. He is our healer. He is our helper. He is everything to us. Clothes, food, shelter. He can provide all that. And it's up to us to acknowledge that um, being called by the Lord, you know, being called to know God is also um, not just a, a commandment, you know, uh, or a, 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 a task. It's a thing that we have to do to keep our cities, our country, ourselves from destruction, because whenever we reject God, Whenever we reject God, there are consequences. Shouts out to co-pastor. House of Prayer. Hold on. This tea is good. <laughs> um, in order for us to know or um, once we know God, we have to realize that our job as creations or creatures that are made in his image and likeness is to serve him and honor him and give him worship and give him praise because when you give him worship and give him praise he knows that you know that he is your lord he knows that you know that he is your savior he knows that you know that you did not make yourself he made you so with that said that was sunday school um, service is actually tie, kind of tying into Sunday school with um, um, the power of a the power of having a thankful and grateful heart. So once you know that you are called by God to serve or witness or encourage somebody or you know pray for somebody or um, do a certain task for somebody, warn people or something like that, prophesy. In my case, you know, um, helping with the church, helping out other people. Um, you have to have a grateful heart and a thankful heart because God loves, he loves people who enter into his courts with praise and thanksgiving for the things that God has blessed you with or for the things that he has blessed you to do. Or the things that he has blessed you to be able to tell somebody. You know, he wants you to be able to thank him. Thank him for the, the, the small things like a pen or a pencil or house shoes <laughs> or a nightstand or a, uh, that was my Alexa, a Mickey Mouse cup. Mickey Mouse. Hold on. I thank him for a Mickey Mouse teacup. It's not a teacup, but I have tea in it. So I thank God for tea. You know, it's a lot of stuff that I can thank the Lord for. I count my blessings and thank God for life, health, strength. You know, it's a lot of stuff that we can, you know, be thankful to the Lord for, you know. And in that thanks, it's 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 up to us to be able to to 
bless other people. I think that's another way of being showing that we are grateful for the things that we have and the things that we have obtained and the life and the vitality that God has given us, you know, in his will, in his way. You know, he's given us life, health, strength. He's given me 70 some odd subscribers. I thank I thank the Lord for y'all who are watching my video right now. I thank the Lord for a phone. I thank the Lord for lamps. And